Hello everybody, it's another unboxing this time. It is the Hot Wheels 2020, I believe. F case, international F case. Already opened the US F case. And this was sent along with that US F case by A and J Toys. Can sense over what they get. This is one of those cases you can get. We have just opened the F case, so let's get to it. Or that you've already watched it a few days ago. Now let's get to the international F case. We don't know if the assortments will be different, but I actually uh, am recording these all. I did the F case live, and then I recorded these so I can uh, get through them and have them for later. Um, so I'm, I'm recording these all at essentially the same time. So I opened up the F case first, the US F case. Then I opened up the US E case, and they were almost exactly the same. There were some new additions, like uh, the uh, Thomas the Train Car and the Mattel, uh, what is it, Dreammobile, I think. Oh, yeah, so I already, can, I already know this is the international case because Thomas is looking right at us, if you can see right there. So we know this is the F case, but they didn't seem to be that different. So we're going to see, I'm assuming this will be the same. We'll try and figure out what is new in this F case, but it really doesn't seem like much, to be perfectly honest. So let's uh, let's try and go through these. Turbo charged, I think, is new. The Range Rover and the 88 Honda, CV Honda CRX, I'll get that right, are definitely not. They're both from the uh, E case. I think this is going to be the theme is, what is new? Geoterra, now these kind of models, I, I couldn't tell you, sometimes they blend for me. I know the donut car was in the last one, and I believe the carbonator was too. I could be wrong. Runway Rescue, I believe, I remember that one in the E case, and then the Audi RS5 Coupe was also in the E case. Now, I can tell you, like, how do I know these are international? Well, it says on the case and the labeling. It also has a different code. The U.S. cases will end in the letter code. So this, in, in this case, it would end in F. And then there's this um, 0 to 3 warning on the international uh, cards that always give it away. And if it's a new model, it doesn't say new for such and such. Like, like here, the Sylvia will give you an example. It doesn't say new for 2020 there by the Hot Wheels logo. So there's a few ways to figure it out. I believe, again... Land Rover, this is new definitely to this case, that recolor, and the Sylvia is not. But uh, the more Sylvia's, well, I don't mind having a few of those. Custom Cadillac Fleetwood, Tooligan, and the 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback, all repeats, I think. These signature ones, Locomotorin, the Thomas the Train, the Thomas and Friends. Their 75th anniversary, it looks like, too. Good old Thomas looking at you. And then the Mattel Dreammobile also has a 75th logo on there. These are definitely new. So there might be, this one might be the to most toyish of the assortments. And we'll probably see a big heavy run on licensed cars in the coming mixes. All right, 69 Chevelle, La Fasta, La Fasta, and then the Tesla Model 3. I think those are all repeats. 65 Mustang, Baja Truck, and the Fish and Chipped, all repeats. Uh, another 98 Subaru Impreza 28.2B STI version in red. Love it. Also love the Mazda RX-7 from the Speed Blur. Remember, if this one comes in a Spectre Flame, you've got the Super. That is not super. Honda Monkey, that is new. Diaper Dragger, I think that is new. The Tesla definitely is not. Recolor of the Road Bandit, the Jeepney is definitely new. The Circle Trucker is also new because we know because it's the treasure hunt, the regular treasure hunt. And then I don't remember seeing this one, the 2005, 2005 Ford Mustang in the E-Case. So there's some, you know, I just, maybe it's because it doesn't, it's not heavy on collector cars, like cars that you and I would collect, um, you know, the licensed stuff. Runway Rescue, Hot Wheels Warp Speeder, and the Isle Driver. I think in our range, the Jeepney Recolor and the uh, Subaru Recolor are probably the, the big ones here. All right.
Mod Rod is Mad Rad, High Tech Missile, Aeropod. These seem very similar to the assortment in the international case. Seems very similar to that of the U.S. case. Clip Rod, Time of Taxi, doesn't appear to be the ID. It is not. And then the fantastic 87 Dodge D100. There's another one that's licensed and new to this case, which I think is tremendous. Indy 500 Oval, 18 Copa Camaro SS, and then the Mod Rod is... Say it with me, folks. Mad Rad. All right, now it's coming to... Okay, so the Grupo times 24, X24, whatever you want to call it, that is new to this case. We already mentioned the Land Rover, and this is new. I forgot about this one. The 70 Volkswagen Baja Black. So I guess it's not that bad. It's just not... You know, you're not running on Bugattis and, you know... Jags and other models that we're so used to being prevalent in these mixes. Yeah, because there's this Mazda RX-7 recolor. There's another Beetle Boy. That one really got... It's kind of a fun little... kind of really just move around quite a bit. It's kind of nice. And then the 69 Chevelle. Batmobile in gold. Quick Bite and the Clip Rod. Rad Truck, the 49 Ford F1, El Viento, and the Ice Cream Truck, which is the Quick Bite. Chill Mill, another 49 Ford, and the Circle Tracker, celebrating 75 years of Mattel with a bunch of brands. It's like their race car. Honda CRX, El Viento, and the 64 Chevy Impala, tuned. Fantastic Sylvia, the Octane, the Fantastic Range Rover, Velar. It's the first time you've ever opened a case because of that Thomas the Train where, like, the car is literally looking at you. Geoterra, Formula E Gen 2 car, we talked about that one, and then the Audi RS5 Coupe. And all right, Thomas, I know you're looking at me. Locomotor and again, Tooligan and the Circle Tracker once more. All right, it isn't as like much of a repeat as I thought. It's just not as many as we're used to. We have come to that conclusion. I think we can finish this unboxing. You guys tell me what you think. It isn't the, the F case, we'll, we'll say it right now. The F case isn't the most collector oriented. It's fine. But it isn't the most collector-oriented, for sure. That might mean that the what would be next, the G case, might be uh, might be a doozy. We'll have to see. Or H. Who knows? Thanks, everybody. Bye.